Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is bearings, and this is one like part of a topic trigonometry. Uh, in the bearing, uh, like we are having two types of bearing. One is uh, three-figured bearing, and second is compass bearing. According to our syllabus C A I E, we have uh, three-figured bearing. So it means we are doing today three figure bearing why it is called three figure bearing there's a reason actually three figure bearing means when we have like bearing is basically a direction so we have to give in terms of angles so angles should be in three figure like suppose when you have like your answer is 10 degrees so 10 degrees you have to write in three figure means zero one zero. This is a three figure. Suppose your answer of the bearing is coming seven degrees, so you have to give the answer zero zero seven degrees. I mean three figure bearing. And when you have your result two hundred and ten degrees, so you have to just write two hundred and ten because this is already three figure bearing. But when you have your answer in decimal, like uh, seven point five degrees suppose so you have to write zero zero seven point five so what do you have what do you mean by that that's you have to write the three figure before the decimal okay okay this is the three figure bearing first of all okay after the three figure bearing this we should have the range of the bearing like what we have the range to give our answer in the exam or was the range for the bearing the bearing range is from as we know uh, three figure bearing so we will not write zero we'll write zero 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 degree to 360 degree this is the range of the bearing okay uh, now or uh, like moving this uh, bearing is not a difficult topic in the exam this we have a part of the technometry sometimes in paper one three to four marks of the bearing in c a i e cambridge examination Mathematics mathematics four zero two four. Okay, syllabus D. So, what's the method to f uh, calculate the bearing or to find the bearing? Sometimes we have to use the protective the D. Okay, what's the method? Okay, method is very simple. Like this method, uh, what I have actually made this method. We are having the number of methods to find the bearing, but this method, I think so. I you will find this easier. Okay, what's the matter? Uh, first of all, we should have a north. Always north will be given. North in the question, the north will be given. Okay, without that, we cannot find the bearing. North will be given, and the method is what? Let's uh, move clockwise. Move clockwise from north from north like you have to move clockwise from north and north should have point like from north uh, move clockwise from north and we have to measure it that's very simple this is actually the matter move clockwise from north but i have to add one thing here when i have a question like how we can calculate okay move clockwise from north and one more important thing like uh, from point from point this is a is, this is not a ex, uh, good sentence in english from point from point means from point should have north this is i want to explain why i am uh, giving this should have north should have north this is my sentence I've written from point means like from A so from A means A should have not from B B should have not from C should uh, C should have not I mean from point whenever like in the exam like I want to show you one example first of all like I have made this here okay uh, in this part you can see the north is given here the north is up so it means this is not here okay not is given here 
रिक्वायरमेंट हेयर इज टू फाइंड द बियरिंग सो बियरिंग ऑफ ए फ्रॉम पी फ्रॉम पी आई टोल्ड यू फ्रॉम पॉइंट शुड हैव नॉट फ्रॉम पॉइंट मीन्स दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट पी शुड हैव नॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू वी हैव पी इज हेयर डू वी हैव नॉट एट पॉइंट पी येस सो फ्रॉम पी शुड हैव पी शुड हैव नॉट फ्रॉम पी पी शुड हैव नॉट फ्रॉम पी पी शुड हैव नॉट फ्रॉम ए ए शुड हैव नॉट I have a draw not at point A because at point A there is no not is drawn. That's why I have I have required not at point A. From B, B should have not. B should have not, and not is always up. This is very important to say that not is always up. No, what direction is not here? If not is up, I have to draw up. So I will give one more example at the end. This we can have a difficult question. Like not is not at up, not is like this. It is also possible. Okay, from C C should have not. Okay, now the method is very simple. Bearing of A from P, from P P should have not. Okay, not is there. Okay, the not is there. Not is there. Not is there. Okay, from P, from P, my method is what I have to draw a circle from P. I will draw a circle like circle like this. Okay, this is the method actually. What's the method? I will draw a circle at point P. P is here. I have drawn a circle. Now, where is the not at P? Not is here. Okay. What I have to do from this point, not with P, not is here. Up from not, I will move clockwise. Clockwise. I will move clockwise. I have to move clockwise till point A. So where is A? Here. A is here. so i will remove this circle very simple draw a circle and travel on the circle this point this coming was the angle is 70 degree so what i will write i will write the answer is three figure bearing so i will write 0 7 0 and that's it once again moving to bearing of b from p p should have not okay we do we have not yes p is having not and from not what i will do i will draw a circle I will draw a circle at P. This is my method, and I hope it. This will definitely help you. Okay. Now, what I have to do? I will travel. I will travel. Like P is having north, and I will travel from P, from P, from P till what? Here is given B. Till B. I have to move till B. Okay. From north, clockwise. Okay. Clockwise, and circle. I mean. I have to travel here. I have to travel here. I have to travel here on the circle till point B, and then I will erase this uh, circle by using pencil. This you have to draw this. So now, what is the angle when I travel from here? This is 90 degree, and this is angle. So when this is 40, this will be 50. Is up to you. This will be 50 by calculation. Is 90 degree. So what you can write? Ninety plus fifty is one forty, or you can write one eighty minus forty is okay. Now point C, bearing of C from P. P from P. P should having should should have not. Okay, do we have not at P? Yes. Now what I have to do? I have to draw a circle at point P. This is very important. Just do it. Now. Travel. You have to travel on this circle clockwise. Okay, till what? Till C. Okay, I will draw clockwise. Till circle on the circle I'm traveling. Till what? Till C. Then I will remove this circle. When I remove the circle. Which part is left? This part is left. We we don't need this part. We need the traveler the traveling part. This traveling part. This till here. So it means total is three sixty degree and thirty is not there. So what I have to do? I will write three sixty minus thirty. Three sixty minus thirty is just three hundred and thirty. And that's we have done. Like I am okay. I'm writing it three sixty minus thirty, and that's coming three hundred and thirty degrees. We have done it. Okay. Now this is important point from bearing of P from A. Okay, from A. So it means what? 
A should have north. And north is up. I have done north here. Okay. Okay. And what I have to do, I have to draw a circle. Okay. Circle. Now I have to travel on the circle. Okay. And we what we need? We need when I move on the circle, I will move till point P. P is here. This is given here. P. So it means I will remove this. Now, actually, the total angle is 360 degree. Uh, different uh, students and teachers have a different concept. My, like, I would like to say one thing. When you have this, this property is very important. When you have two parallel lines, and the line like this, and this angle is x, and this angle is y, the sum is always 180 degree. Please, this is very important property, and that will help you. The sum, when you have parallel lines, I have already discussed in angles properties. The sum in the parallel lines is always in in interior angle always 180 degree. So it means if this is 70 degree, that will be what? It's very simple. That will be 180 minus 70 is 110. I mean this will help you. So 360 minus 110, and angle is coming 290. Fifty, yes. Now, <laughs> moving to, am I right? One, yes. Okay. Now this, oh, otherwise we have this uh, alternate angle property. When this angle is x, this is also x. So you can write what? This angle is also seventy degree. And you can write one eighty, one eighty degree, one eighty degree plus seventy, and you can write. Answer is coming to 50 degrees. You can okay, moving to part B. Bearing of P from B. From B, so mean B should have not. Okay. Not is done. And I will draw what? Circle. Especially important. Draw a circle at point. Right. And I will travel on the circle. Sometimes students think they will move from here till here. What? No, 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 no. Please don't do it. Make a circle and travel on the circle okay i want to travel on the circle till what till point p so traveling on the circle till here okay and i remove the circle now this part we need to calculate this part so this part is 40 degree because alternate angles property is also there so if this is 40 degree you can write 360 minus 40 is coming 20 degrees and that's it done three figure fit okay uh, bearing of p from c from c c should have have not okay c has not and not i have to draw about very simple step draw a circle and travel on the circle okay uh, till point p so i have to move on the circle when we have p i have to stop stop this is here and then i will remove this now calculate this. And what I have the property here, 30, and this should have the sum of 180. So if this is 30, this will be what? 150. This is a very good example. You can use it. So I can write the angle is coming, the bearing is 150 degrees. That's a very simple topic. I hope this you understood. But now I have some questions uh, from the past papers, uh, 40240 oh levels mathematics, and I would like to discuss with you. Okay, now we have some possible questions. The first question is from November 2004, paper one, question number nine, mathematics, O levels 4024, C-A-I-E. Okay, Cambridge paper. Uh, the diagram shows the point positions of A and B. We are having there. The bearing of, find the bearing of A from B. Okay, what did I told you? From B, I mean this point, from B, from point should have not, from B, B should have not. Do we have not here? Okay, not is there. And when we have not from B, I have to draw a circle. And from like circle, I have to travel on it now. I have to move till point A. Okay, this is here. I am traveling on the circle and I will move and this is the part and I will remove this. This is required angle. So if when this is required angle, so what we can do? We can do this total angle is 360 degree. So 360 degree minus 60 degree 
that's coming 300 and that's our way okay uh, second part varying from a from a so the a should have north okay it means i have to draw north at point a okay north is drawn and what i have to draw a circle and i draw the circle and i will travel on the circle now and i have to move till point a b so traveling right say clockwise clockwise here and this I will remove I want this part only and I told you is very simple I mean very good uh, property we can use here sum of these two angle is 180 so it means the sum is 180 means if this is 60 degree here this is 60 this will be 180 minus 60 is what if you want to uh, show the working you can do and that's coming 120 degrees and that's we have done okay and this was uh, easiest question then I want to move the second part. This is uh, June 2005, paper 1, question number 4, O levels maths, 4024. A is due north of A. The north, uh, okay, north will be always given. A is due north means this A north is up. Okay, that's given. Without north, we cannot uh, work on the bearing, like the bear north will be given. A ship sailed from O to B where O A B angle is 12 degrees that's given here this angle is 12 degrees write on the bearing of B from O from O I told you from O means from point should have not from point I mean O should have not do we have not yes A is due not is already given so it means this is given and from O means I have to draw a circle this is very like this property is wonderful this you have to draw a circle at from O and I have to move clockwise from this point like north is up so clockwise and I have to move clockwise on the circle till what till B so B is here like here and I remove this sorry I remove this circle okay this is uh, 12 12 12 and total is 360 degrees so it means what we can write 360 minus 12 and you can get the answer 8 and 5 and 1 4 and 348 degrees and that's your answer okay we have done part a now we are moving to part b okay part b uh, like we required calculate the bearing of c from b b should have not okay b should have not means i have to draw north at point b and 50 will not divide into two parts please equal parts it will divide but not equally I will draw a circle this is my first property the circle is very important to draw at point B okay and I have to move like here I have to move I have to move on the circle this point is O but what is required C so it means I will not stop here I have to move moving 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 till here okay I have removed this it means this this angle is required so now calculations based how can you do the calculation is up to you we have number of matches to do the calculation the first calculation I would like to do like this angle only this angle this angle this angle this angle this angle and this angle sum is 180 right? when you have like uh, you can do the calculation uh, 180 like here uh, one So this is 168 first of all if this is 168 this angle is 168 only this part then some so what you can write at 168 plus 50 and when you add it you can get the answer 218 and that's your answer this is the first method you can use like you have to uh, uh, find this angle total angle is Sometimes what's the method was the student use the method the method is Okay, second option uh, This angle is 12 degree this angle is 12. So this will be also 12 This is the method first of all what they do they mi uh, minus 15 12. So it's coming 38 Okay, 38 then they do 180 plus 38 and the answer is coming 8 and 
200 and 18 the same answer like this is also the way you can do it okay little difficult part mm, okay i have some questions okay moving to this part this is june 2000 and two paper one question number seven like the question is there okay but one important part is here the Q is due east of L and P L Q is 80 degree that's given east like east and north is up and this is east sorry east here E and L is at west but actually what the main part is here this is the main part uh, yes this is the main part P and Q are each 10 kilometer from L this is most important part you cannot do the working you cannot do the calculation P and Q each 10 kilometer from L so it means this is 10 kilometer this is 10 kilometer so it means both are equal yes then both are equal we have isosceles triangle and when we have isosceles triangle what we can do uh, when we have isosceles triangle when I saw this triangle means these two angles will be same x and x so can you find x first okay I'm finding x first the x is coming x plus x plus 80 degrees is equals to 180 2x is equals to 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees and x is equals to 50 so it means this angle is 50 and this angle is 50 we know this angle is 50 now okay now the L Q P oh L Q P L Q is coming 50 degrees we have done it <laughs> yes okay the bearing of Q from P from P from P means P should have not okay P should have not okay when I draw not at point P not at point P this will not divide to equal parts please this angle is 50 eh? this angle is 50 we have done it okay what's the method I will draw a circle first of all this is my method I will draw a circle this is very important okay on the circle I will travel from north to clockwise till Q okay I'm moving move 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 oh yes here because Q is here so that's it only this angle is required this angle is required total is 50 now how can you do the calculation uh, by using this method okay one thing if when I draw here here this angle is 50 so this angle will be 40 yeah because it's given this is uh, east Q Q is east of L means this is like this 90 degree 90 degree so this is 90 and this total is 90 so this 40 this will be also 40 so your answer is coming 0 4 0 because we are doing the bearing yes see but the bearing of L from P P should have not okay P north is already there I I have to draw a circle my method is what draw a circle then from circle move clockwise from north till point L and L is still here okay it means it means I have to find here okay I want to find this and only this part I don't need you know we have already done this is coming 40 degree and total is 50 so this will be 10 so it's very simple 360 degrees minus 10 degrees and answer is coming 350 degrees and we have done it like you have to write here and this you draw 0 4 0 degrees that's it let's see what's the next part we have done about okay this question good this question is from November 2001 paper 1 question number 17 the diagram is given two sides are equal it means when this two are equal isosceles triangle this will be also 75 isosceles triangle so when the 75 this 75 when we add it and minus from 180 we can get this angle this angle is coming 30 degrees so like 150 150 minus 180 is coming 300 330 degrees okay we have this I mean uh, now read the question uh, the angle the acute angle ACB ACB acute angle means 
less than okay that's we have done 30 degrees and you have to do the calculation 30 degrees we have done this is not bearing so just write 30 degree not the three figure bearing the flex angle of ACB the flex angle means this angle more than 180 less than 360 so that's the flex angle and that's coming 330 degrees this is not bearing huh? sometimes this part is not given the question they directly ask the flex angle so don't write 30 degree right 330 degrees okay bearing of a from c c should have north c should have north okay north is there and what i will do i told you just draw a circle first of all don't be confused draw a circle after drawing a circle you have to travel on the circle like here because when you travel on the circle the first part when i move till here this is coming b so do we stop at point b no we have to stop at point a so it means I have to further travel till this point here. This step. It means this is the required angle to find, and this is not given. Remember, the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Yes, I told you. Just whenever we have this situation, two lines parallel, the sum is always uh, 180 degree, and this you have to uh, use this property frequently in this prop. This this is coming. Okay, this is coming uh, 48. When this is 48, what you can do? You can write 360. Sorry, use this pen. 360 degrees minus 48, and you can get the answer 312. Okay, done. The bearing of A from B, from B, B should have not. Okay, not is there. I will draw a circle. Just draw a circle and travel on the circle okay moving because they're a and c both but what's the requirement here i have to stop at a okay clockwise when a is stopped i will remove it. i need only this part please this is not 90 yeah? please this is not 90 be careful this angle is required you have option here the sum of these two angles this angle and this angle this two angle like this is required x and this is y x and y is like 180 degrees it's, it's very very good property you can use it so it's better to find this angle first you can what add it and minus from 360 so you can write 360 minus uh, 132 and minus 75 and it's coming 153 this angle is coming 153 when this is 153 so it means you can write uh, add the sum of these two angles is 180 so you can minus 180 153 is 27 and you will not write 27 you will write 0 to 7 degrees and that's the time that's the period. okay we have like this uh, actually in paper 2 I just I don't want to solve this part but I want to show you that in the bearing paper 2 is a part of technometry like you can see in the second part in we have just question number a part uh, one like here in a part this is bearing and the fourth part is there are two bearing questions like bearing of b from a bearing of c from b so, so what you have to do in paper two like uh, you don't need to lose your marks because this is one mark and one mark two marks in the trigonometry so your bearing should be 100 percent uh, okay and this is a question November 5 paper 2 question it if you can do this please uh, uh, comment okay actually what I'm making frequent videos my request to you uh, please uh, press the bell icon so that you can receive my new videos because daily on the daily basis I'm making videos for sometimes two sometimes three so, uh, because the, there is a lot of topics in mathematics and at mass thank you so much and I hope that you understood please share with your friends thank you so much have a nice day